Hello, friend. Welcome to Forge Lore, where we tell stories through Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, let you in on a little secret. We've been thinking about merch, and we want to know what you want. What kind of Forge Lore or Scald merch would you like to see? What cool D&D related shirt would you totally wear everywhere? Let us know in the comments or hit us up on Discord and let us know. You just might see it released in the future. Hmm. Know what I see in the future? Playing some D&D. Roll it. Do you guys remember when you were ambushed by the Moonadir? Nifrom lost her robot friend almost immediately. Marcus bashed some heads in, per usual. Sidric witnessed the true power of a rune knight, and Gendry really did become Batman. Totally sweet. Your quest to track down and stop a group called the Moonadir from instigating war between continents isn't exactly going well. You tried speaking to King Tolik Muspelheim? to convince him that the giant robot attack on the capital was a false flag operation. But he was too bullheaded. I, I swear it's the last time I used that pun. <laughs> <laughs> you discovered that his Owlin advisor had an earpiece that seems to tie them to the mysterious Moonadir. You were then approached by the Silent Spate, an assassin's guild that spreads across the continents. They offered to help by getting you a ship to travel to Alfheim where you intend to confront Nif's father for his possible involvement in the evil schemes. But there was one catch to this plan. They were sneaking you onto a list of troops scheduled to sail in the morning to raid the village of Vithermooner. Armed with fake names and some sweet disguises, you spent the night drinking in the tavern, only to be ambushed by the Moonadir on the docks. After quite an intense fight, you managed to kill or scare out scare off all the attackers, leaving one magic caster alive but unconscious to interrogate. And that is where our story continues. All right, feed them, feed them the truth serum. Stuff it down <laughs> the throat. Let's go. So right now you are on the, t uh, some of you at least are on the top of the inn. Let me bring you guys in here. I'm sitting on top. <laughs> we should, oh, we should combo it. We should zone a truth and truth serum here. And also stab yeah, him. Yeah, I, I can, I can zone the truth. Um, do we want to take I him got the off stabbing. the roof or? No, why don't we actually legit Batman, Batman this and hang him off the roof, dangling off the roof. Like, hey, I'm going to cut this cord if you don't tell me. Where are the room. drugs at? So they the lay before most of you, um, unconscious. Uh, Orvar okay is going that. to <laughs> climb up there in his giant form. <laughs> before reverting <laughs> back. Oops, Jeez. not flying. Reverting back to normal size. Did you damage anything coming up here, Orvar? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't, I, I, I'd rather not say. <laughs> I think it was like that when we found it. That means yes. Meanwhile, Oscar is tending to uh, poor Herm, who dropped quickly. Oh, Herm. But Herm's another body, man. It's good stuff. <laughs> Herm. Well, we should We're tie him us, up, right? Just like buckles. Tie up Herm? I don't think no, so. No, not um, Herm. The, the guy over here that we've downed, but... We need to revive before he's Was it a guy? I thought dead? it was a lady. Hey, it is a lady. Dibs, oh, I'm dibs sorry, on the spill book. Dibs it was hard on the spill tell. book. Well, I've just got here. Let's let's go tea bagger. Um, hey, no, what? No, what? no. Is that we're where you stab just, her in the eye? We're just yes, gonna tie her up. I think. I think that would be. No, no, <sighs> no. No, I'm, I'm not okay with that. Cedric, timeout corner right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, so what are you really, guys you're like a, you're like a one year old. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I would like to very much first uh, pat her down, uh, uh, try and get that spell book off of her. But any other pieces of info? Give notes, me an investigation. Anything? Fuck, you know that that's my worst thing. Cedric, 
Yes. Marcus, somebody and help I can't, me. I can't, I, I can't <laughs> bwee, right? Because yeah. well, no, it's like a whole person. Right? Son of oh, abuse. you're looking at uh, the oh, you're looking through pockets. If you're looking at an object, yes. An object. All right. You always try to get away with that shit. That is a 10. It's in my nature. I'm a rogue. A 10? <laughs> As yeah. you're going through the pockets, you don't find a book, oh, uh, a fuck. spell book necessarily. Can um, I look? There's an evoker. Mm. Doesn't use a spell book. You do find uh, a couple things. You find a bottle of restorative ointment. Ooh. Okay. And that's all you find. Is that like Ben Gay in this day and age? Uh, she does <laughs> have a locket Wait. around her neck. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, and as you open it, there is a picture inside of a young half-elf boy. And by the way, this is a female uh, half, half-elf. Oh, kind of no. maybe 30s, 40s as far as age. So still pretty young. Young. Bitch got in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> it's time to die. <laughs> Jesus. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, um, somebody speak. want to help me... Um, tie her up and perhaps maybe gag her so she doesn't say spells and stuff right that's with a thing. pleasure thank you yeah oh yeah do you find like do i find like a component pouch like anything you like do that you find components oh, okay. can i check for a spell book <clears throat> uh yeah you can do an investigation Let's if you really want. Tie i'm just going to keep that by me her before she dies she is, fine. The breathing is getting lighter and lighter. <laughs> fine. Whatever. We can always check her corpse after we kill her. <laughs> all right. All right. So you're tying her up. I got a 16, by the way. A 16 yeah, investigation. So we tie her up and I stabilize her. All right. So okay. with spells. Um, with spells. The... <laughs> so sorry. Was that your investigation? Yeah, that's the investigation. Okay. As they're tying her up, you you do kind of, you know, roll the body one more time. Uh, you do find, you still don't find a spell book. Mm. Uh, you think knowing magic, maybe it's a sorcerer instead of a wizard. Um, but you yeah. do find one more thing, which is a single bead of force. <gasps> look what you oh, got. Cool. I'll look that up later. <laughs> <laughs> I can, uh... Yeah, send you the... Alright, um... You, some things you pick up, you just feel like you just need to throw... Nah, just just right into the <laughs> bag, and like, I'll figure um, that out. <laughs> well, alright, uh, So, who's tying her up and how? Well, um, I have I have manacles. I have a few right. sets of manacles. You don't That's have just manacles. manacles? Yeah, just wrists uh, and legs, I suppose. Marcus is a natural caster. You would know that to prevent casting, you know, components would be important, but fingers free is yeah. important too. Let's just chop them off. No. No. That would probably She'll end bleed her. out. Yes. Also, no. you stabilized her, but she still <laughs> is unconscious until you give her a hip. What could we least. use to totally disable? Like we'd have to wrap her hands in like a fist. You can you can shit. wrap, wrap her fist like or like wrap cloth cloth between them. or rope oh between. <laughs> There's maybe some less terrible ways to do uh, this. I mean, this is she, a magical she way. She tried to we kill can, us. Let's just smash her fingers, fingers so later. Good. Prove oh her wrong to. If you feel like it. wrong. Why do we want to do anything with her later? I thought we were going to stab her. Well, well, Knowing you, you're probably going to want to She might be able to just some lead us somewhere. Know. We don't we know. We just yeah. found a picture of her child. That she, sucks. So she's a, she's completely that unconscious sucks. right now, right? She should have Currently. thought about that before attacking us. Huh? Okay. Oh my so, god, Josh, get some coffee. Marcus, did you <laughs> spare the dying, or did you like? Whoa! How do you stabilize her? Uh, I can roll for it because I don't have spare the. Okay, dying. then give me a medicine check. Yeah, I mean I have a healer's uh, kit. I got a seventeen <laughs> plus three twenty. Yeah, yeah, very easily you manage to uh, close the wounds. Again, doesn't heal her, but stops her from and bleeding then out. I can cast cure wounds just to further, you know. So let's finish. So um, you're tying her up like with manacles and fingers, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll use some of my rope to like. Do your fingers Tie have them. little little finger manacles? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Guys, I have an idea. So strong men, so like Marcus, Cedric, if if we if we if we 
If we manacle her uh, arms and her legs behind her her back, okay. Hogtied. And put an apple in her mouth. Yeah, and then I have a I have a I have a ten foot pole. You're not gonna touch uh, her with. Could we? Could we like? <laughs> could no? Could. Could we? Oh, we are talking about a pig. Could, could we like fish that through her legs and her arms, manacled like, and then you guys hold each end of that pole, and then we could make a fire and then just dangle her over the fire, and then we don't even have to do shit. We just ask her, "Hey, are you feeling hot? And you want to tell us what's going on? What's up?" Who am I with? You know what I mean? I could definitely put an apple in her mouth. And this, is a slow um, nope. this is out of game. No, this is out of game. This is out of game. Who the fuck am I playing with? <laughs> Listen, I'm excited to use my manacles and my pole. And I mean, I could just like do a candle even. It would take a while. Away. Put your pole away. I haven't taken it out yet. Put it. <laughs> That's what you guys do. Right? I think You've we should. Okay. Are you hot time? That's just, that's just a suggestion. But yeah, if you have Zone of Truth, I guess that would work too, if you're cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, she's not she's not obligated to tell us the truth on that. So she could just, like, what I'm not thinking with that, with the Zone of Truth, is that she's the evoker, right? So she's probably going to have a high wisdom save. Uh, um, they ca Sorcerers cast via charisma. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, fuck her then. Cha -cha -cha. I should have known that. No, wizards, why would you do that? wizards cast because, by intellect. I mean, out of the game, I've played sorcerers before. True. That. Um, so what are you doing? But he'll know if she fails. Ooh, uh, we could waterboard her. I have that uh, that that bottle. That bottle of, of we endless water. We do not approve water. of waterboarding. I, I feel like we're <laughs> making do. this more complicated. All right, you know what? If everyone's <laughs> can, just going to be negative we Nancy's, just, we do whatever you guys want to do. Okay. Can we just I mean, talk I don't know what everybody want to do. Tickle her feet. Oh, pat her God. on the head until she gives us answers. That's another kind. Yeah, okay, Marcus, <laughs> let's just talk to her. That'll be cool. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right, Marcus, Marcus you're that. the foot expert. <laughs> yeah, she's she's the foot expert. let's tickle her. Oh, wait, she's not a tiefling. If she, right. if she doesn't give the answers, <laughs> I can start using the hammer to break parts of her. That's true. That's true. Uh, we don't, we, we don't need feeling, to go uh, all fancy schmancy. Oops, we just I miss, need to she's talk. Dead now. <laughs> We just need to, you know, thread her with a kneecap and throw her in the water and see if she can swim. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what are we doing? So, give me the the, fi <laughs> the final answer on how they how she is tied up, bound, gag, whatever. What are you doing? Hands and legs behind her back, hog tied with her arms or her, fingers. Her hands like in, in a way where she came here. bound yeah, that, that would right. be that allow her to cast uh, flaming I mean, hands. No one will let me. No, no not one, if she no, can't no one will let me. Can I just break her fingers? They can't oh do that much damage. Why don't you just do this? Listen, I've got yeah, some I'm saran wrap in her my bag of holding. Uh huh. <laughs> into, you know, oh, wait, we could, we could have it so they're pointed at her. The bags of holding? No, the fingers. Oh. <laughs> the saran wrap. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Um, yes, I would say we could like cover her hands in cloth in cloth. It, just to like ball them up like fists and like yeah. wrap cloth around them and Yeah, then... she's gonna be dead before we decided to do this. Oh my god. No, no she's already stabilized. stabilized she is stabilized, but she's still unconscious mm. until You know what she I gets think I wanna point. do though? I wanna use a bullseye lantern. It's like, right? And I want to use it as a sort of like, like interrogation, light. like like they do in interrogations. Okay, okay, right. that's a good but idea. But I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on and off, so it's gonna be like really uh, discomforting <laughs> oh, and, and jarring no. for her. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Why are we trying to be nice to this lady? I don't know why we're trying to be so mean. We're gonna murder her. I know. All right, uh, you know what? You be good cop. We'll be bad her, cop. <laughs> okay. Oh my you god. You guys will be good cop. We'll be bad cop. I'll just she be could potentially, honestly, guys. Here. So could... I won't break her fingers, but just put them out and I'll put my hand, feet over them. So Honestly, she could lead us to something important, like yes. physically. And if we're breaking her fingers and doing terrible shit to her, she has no yeah, motivation that's... to give us mm. anything. Exactly. Or what, or what she'll give us will be incorrect because yes. she just wants to tell us something so it'll stop. Yeah, All right. that's a thing. Then I'm just going to stay in the back. That's why I said we need to talk. Minutes. To her first. Yes. God. Right, so Zone of Truth, that broad. Yes, well, Whoa. hands This fine done young up. lady. Oh my god. Manacled behind her back with her legs manacled as well. 
All right, so and... manacles, fingers bound. Anything and I else? would say more toward the center of the roof, so she can't just like go. You know what? Never mind. Fing and try you to. You would be good. You would be good too. If her hands, so the manacles, I'd like them to be crisscrossed. What I mean by that is like her hands manacled, her legs manacled. Oh, and, uh, hand the, the to chains, leg, hand to leg. Yeah. So then the chains are like yeah, all up in each other. All right. All right. Let's do I'm this. Done with that. Be talking, manacles, like hand manacles. bound, crisscross pattern. All right. Uh, All right so, um, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I can cast care wounds on her now. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead and roll the health. Sorry, Gendry was in the way of the camera. He's going to move. Isn't <laughs> from like almost dead. Open the camera. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm at like 12 HP. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so am I. Like we're all wound. almost dead, okay? <laughs> and and me mean. from here, let me let me take a look at that wound real quick. Uh, she punches you in your nine face. Nine no, HP back to her. <laughs> nine? Now here, let me let me let, let me yeah. take a look at that wound. All right, all right. I, I got a sixteen. Yeah, it's a nasty wound. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely Dick. nasty. I, I just wanted to look at it. Thank you. All right, <laughs> so. As you're all kind of prepared and keeping eyes on her, uh, Marcus goes up and taps her with the cure wounds. Uh, she she kind of opens her eyes, looks around. <coughs> what the? Oh, oh fuck! Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> what? Do I still have my mustache on? Uh, what's so funny? Mostly this. What's and then that? she mutters something and Misty Steps, which requires oh, only shit. verbal component. Misty Steps where? Uh, well, let's see where she can go. Um, I mean, the manacles are still on her, though, right? It's cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> teleporting Whatever. gets you out of any bindings. Oh, oh man. Crap. Do I still have haste? Uh, no, that lasts like a minute, and you definitely took longer. <laughs> uh, I thought we so gagged her. her. Wait, Whoever wait, cast wait. it on me again. I thought we gagged her. Can I charge? Can I charge at her? You didn't. Did I you asked her? a final like, "What are you doing?" I and mentioned you know, yeah, we were much more You mentioned yeah, it we earlier. We mentioned it earlier, but we didn't say it in the final thing. So yeah, she misty steps over and drops down. Alright. Yeah, so right Do we need okay. to roll I'll initiative? Because I'm yeah, gonna fucking so shoot her in the face. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and roll so, initiative. So, oh great. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, she'll I'll finish her turn while you guys are rolling because this is essentially a surprise. Um that's yeah, she's gonna take a little bit of damage from running. Ooh, we're starting strong. Sixteen. Alright, I got a nineteen. All right, sorry, Sidric, you said 16? Yeah. Gendry, 19? Marcus? Mm -hmm. 20. 20. Niff? 22. 22. All right. Let's bring this up here. Up first is... Hang on, let me make sure she got all the movements. Uh, 5, 10. Let's do that as 20... Um, 30 and start, she starts, uh, running down the, uh, the walkway. Um, all right. So Niff, you're up first. All right. So, um, I'm going to go out this way. Do I see her? Yes, I do. Yep. I'm going to take out my <laughs> wand of magic missiles. All right. Yeah! Fuck um, that bitch! Fuck that bitch! Fuck that bitch! I'm fuck gonna bitch. go ahead and hit her at a fifth level with that. Okay. Oh shit! Sure. Oh, no. no. You're gonna um, die. <laughs> can you make the magic missiles non-lethal? I don't so is that? Know. That's like seven missiles, right? Uh, yes. Minimum <laughs> rolling would kill her. Oh. Okay. So, I'm a fucking. Oh. No, yeah, she's just mid stripe. Oh. oh wait, but that would right. So she needs to be like stabilized. Right? And she's I'm gonna, she is. Yeah, whatever. Stabilize her again. Cool, cool, cool. Get back down there, and then whatever. So I mean, 
At that point, we can drop initiative for now. All right, so so me being all angry, I run <laughs> off the building. <laughs> Give me an, uh, an acrobatic or acrobatics or athletics. Yo, did you fall on top of her? <laughs> yeah, that was my plan the whole time. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is Orvar's gonna kind of run over and look down? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, yeah, just you kind of land just because of the height. You're gonna take. Three bludgeoning. That's Which, it? Oh, yeah. nice. All right. So because I'm going to attempt to land on her legs. Oh, my All God. right. I'd say you break them. <laughs> That's oh pretty easy. Guys, kind of laying Watch down. Watch Misty Step now. <laughs> Yay. She can't Misty Step nowhere with no legs. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm She can gonna... still Misty Step. She, she can Misty Slither. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll hear her every time she Misty Steps. <laughs> my legs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say leave the gag off at this point. All right, so at this point, uh, Gendry is going to um, step off of the roof and with his grappling hook, hook that onto the onto the top of the roof and just kind of let it... Sure, up. easy enough. We I'm going to slide and then jump and... Do I'll catch athletics you. or acrobatics? Uh, uh, if you're jumping, <laughs> give me athletics or acrobatics, either one. <laughs> Giant I'm gonna metal go with boy. This is how different becomes jelly. Which what, is uh, 23. Fuck. 23? Nice. Good, but nice. because of the height, you still take 1d6, so that's yeah. gonna be 4 damage. Is it lamp very hard on the ground. Alright, so let's tie her up again. Did I do the superhero land? Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't nice. worry about tying her up, and I'd stomp on her fans. Uh, does that? Uh, yeah. What about her eyes, dude? What, covering her eyes, right? Misty stepping somewhere she can see. Like, is that how that works? Or is it just oh, Misty yeah. steps? Oh, you have to see where you're going with the Misty step. Oh. All right, then let's blindfold her. Because yeah, right. I mean, if we want answers out of her, right, we're eventually going to need her to talk. Yeah, let's, also, let's has anyone her stabilized her? Because boy, yeah. is this the second time? Give me a medicine check. And the DC is going to be higher because her I legs are broken. I could instead of stabilizing. 18 plus 3, so I 21. Have a kid. Sorry, what was it, Marcus? 21. 21? Mm -hmm. You just barely, like, there are death rattles and barely managed to stabilize her. Okay. She's been through a lot. Yeah. I, but I still imagine. unconscious. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Save your spells. Oh, so, how, let's, so describe to me how you're uh, binding. Son of a biscuit. Well, her legs are all fucked. Sidorik stepped on her hands. Yep. A bunch. Have, could I have picked up the manacles up there? Because yeah. I yeah. kind of delayed for yeah. a second. Cool. Uh, uh, manacles. Obviously blindfold. Blindfold, but her mouth still not gagged, apparently. So that's what we're doing. She I mean, needs hard, to be able hard to, talk. Her to talk. Mm -hmm. uh, if mm -hmm. you know she's gagged, so see, audience, what you don't know is the funniest part of this is I once screwed over Emmy as she was DMing using this trick. <laughs> it's <laughs> super Missy not step funny. Only requires verbal. Anyway, very, we could also we, we we could also um. Hmm. Eh. She gets cured seven points. We could try gagging her and asking her like yes no questions and having her blink and shit too. Meh. So she is bound the same way, blindfolded? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. So one more. Is it like as you dump legs the seven broken, points? Hands yeah, legs broken. broken. Oh, hands so broken. hands are broken now. Yes, okay. Sidoric stepped on them. Okay. So as she wakes up. <gasps> oh, <coughs> she just starts screaming. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. That's, um. Dude! <laughs> and she's dead again. No. This is this is a um, attack. <laughs> if Gendry wasn't Gendry, this would be fucked up and he'd want out. I kind of want out. What's Can I get out? <laughs> um, yes. Yes. So so the um the the legs and the hands. That's your reward for your last clever trick. Are you done with that now? So at this point, I mean, like the screaming's died a bit, but she's still. Ah, ah, Oh, what have you done? Oh, gods! There is no gods here. 
<laughs> oh my god is wait, here. Wait, dude, what in yeah, the hell? No, that's not something that's not something y'all usually say. Yeah. <laughs> y'all usually say it's that all, all of the guys are here. Shut up, it's theatrical purposes, guys. Okay, okay, fine. Let, 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 let's read let's let's read kind of I'll say it because that's like my thing. Yeah, like, it's no okay. Sure, right. Brand. I never said it. Go for it. Okay, and as I as I take out my dagger I, and I prepare to cut her ear off. Because apparently she can't hear us when we say shh. <laughs> there we go. Now you're in the spirit. Well, an intimidation with advantage. Oh my there no, god. There are no gods here. <laughs> that was a little bit more seductive than it was threatening. There are no gods here. No gods here, you know, no one's watching. I got a 16. Oh my god. A 16. Let's get Oh my her. gods who aren't here right now. <laughs> um, yeah, she kind of quiets her. <laughs> Coughing up blood and just like, oh, she's a mess. You're not even sure how she's alive at this point. If you want I'm to really good. make it home to your son, I re- recommend you get quiet very quickly. Who you sent know you? so little. <laughs> I know, and that's why you're still alive. Who sent you? <sighs> just kind of... I mean, she can't see you. She's just kind of looking around as she's like... <sighs> you can't do anything. <laughs> I would rather die than tell you anything. <laughs> uh, it'd be unfortunate not to be remembered, huh? <laughs> All right, um, Marcus, um, the uh, Onze of uh, Uthre. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us some truth is. I, I didn't just say some words and cast a spell, did I? That was Pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, Marcus, you cast in Zone of Truth? <laughs> uh, All right, and that is a wisdom, explodes. right? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Let me look real quick. Just um, well, um, whoopsies, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go have a drink. Da, da, da. It's a uh, fifteen wisdom. Mm, let's see. Remember, you have a plus one on your yeah DC. I also have a poison that does the truth deal. Yeah, I think that's a con save, though, right? Yeah, and it's like my last one, but I'll I'll try it if you guys want to do it. Wait, did she succeed? Hold so f- does fifteen succeed? I'm, I'm still figuring I'm reading it. it. It'll be on your character sheet under spells, like it'll be in the column. Save DC is fifteen. Oh no, no, it would be sixteen because yeah. of that one. amulet, 16. right? Yeah. So nice. she just fails. Check that yeah. out. Very cool. For anybody who says a, a plus one doesn't help at all. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's, it's so very nice to meet you, but um, we're getting rather sick of this little game that you guys are playing. Um, I'd love to know the name of your leader, please. <sighs> I'll never tell you. <laughs> and why wouldn't you tell me? <sighs> Listen. I know I'm going to Valhalla when I die. Can you be sure of the same? <laughs> I don't think you will be when we put you in a crate and sink you at the bottom of the ocean. It's not exactly dying in battle, is it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I think it does. You want to know about the leader? <laughs> I can tell you. True Valkyrie. <laughs> She'll break about our destiny. <laughs> I'm guaranteed Valhalla. And you believe this so much that you would do her bidding. Just, you know, le- leave your son alone to probably fend for himself and. What prob- can you do to my die? son? Sorry, oh, no, I had my mind. eyes closed, Cideric. Um, what'd you have? Oh, you're good. I was letting you talk, <laughs> letting you monologue. It's fine. Um, I was just going to say we should get that recording stone out that you have that does like seven seconds. Do you got more of those? Yeah, I do. 
Why? What do you want? Because if she says something that we can show the king. Ooh. A recording. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> and when we get it to the king. So are you gonna, uh, that was great. We definitely recorded it. Are oh, you gonna shit. tinker <laughs> one? <laughs> are, you gonna tinker, are you gonna tinker a rock? Um, Whatever it is. It's uh I forget what the feature's called. Yeah, I mean I can do that. It's the magical tinkering, I think. Yeah. Is that right? It's um oh geez, what's it called? Yes, it is. Okay. It's an OG's. Oh jeez. Um, oh, geez. Oh jeez, it's so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it is. It's an oh jeez. Um, oh, yeah, yeah so magical well. tinkering. I do lots you of things really well, Josh. Left. No, you don't. <laughs> do you guys have any questions for her? <laughs> uh, nope, big wrong way. I also bring people together really well. Yep. No, nope, he doesn't even give a fuck. No, I just smacked him in the face. <laughs> oh, you can't. I'll, I'll... I'll slap hands with you. You can't do anything to my son. <laughs> Why, is he already dead? <laughs> oh. I'll see him soon enough, it appears. <laughs> oh, you are very sick people. Very sick people. Does anybody else have a question for her? I do. Go for it. I have a yes or no. Was it the um, Owlin that sent you? To kill us. I'm gonna press the rock, tinker the rock to record the message that she's about to say. Who cares? Well, that was I care. It. Who cares about that? <laughs> Obviously, we do, or we wouldn't be asking. So, oh my God, why do we interrogate the most fucking obstinate people? <sighs> Do it already! I I was for the waterboarding, hanging over fire plan, but everyone was, no, let's talk. This is what you get. Do you, do you just listen to me next time, okay? All right, all right. There's a fire inside. We'll hold her in front of the fireplace and see no, how long no, she. No, no, we don't need a fireplace. I, I have a torch right here. Nipper. I would like to um, lean down. Oh, I have an idea. Go ahead. What, um, what's your idea? Uh. We uh, heat up one of the cauldrons and then put it over her head and see how long she lasts. <laughs> I'm going to lean down and give her a kiss on the forehead as I stab her through the heart. <laughs> as as she's kind of dying and gasping, just, <laughs> just like... She is everything. It's everywhere. <laughs> As she dies. Ooh, could I um, do a, use a healing kit um, and bring her back one more time? <laughs> um, stabbing in I the heart? It's probably going to take done. more than a healing kit. Oh. Yeah, we need Can to work I on our interrogation skills. Throw her into the river or water. The, the, the ocean? Ocean? Yes. Yeah, sure. Uh, should we? Should we keep a hold of her? No, no, no. I think we should nail her to the wall and say, keep, uh, mm. you know, come at us. Come well, at us, bitches. Actually, you know, now, now that I think about other people here for a second, where is everyone? There's not even a single god out here. Hmm. Did you guys notice that? I did notice that. Yeah, I assume the owl and called them off and then sent I, those guys um, on us. I, I noticed it right away and didn't say anything. What was the owl's Thank name? You, did we write Dendry? that down? You never asked. Oh. Yeah, I thought we her didn't. Name was, I, thought, I just thought her name was Lynn. Oh my god, I thought stop she that. was zone of truth person that, you know, was getting all I'm in a, me. I'm in a sort of zone of dad truths today. Sure and are. What you're getting is just all the dad puns, and that's just what's going to happen. Yeah. So, a dead half elf lies in front of you, just mutilated. What are you doing? You tossing her in the ocean? I figured that we would probably be her. the best way to make sure she's not uh, remembered. Let's let's take her Leave to her for the, crabs. the the fate. 
Can I put her in my bag of holding? For later. You can try stuffing her in there. <laughs> she doesn't have to breathe. <laughs> what? She's what? proper dead at this point. We can throw her in front of the Owlin, and the Owlin can be like, Oh, no. How, like, big, hey, gotcha, how big is the locket that we found? Oh, it's just small, like, medallion Real small? size. Yeah. Okay. So this picture that I've had with me, how big would you say that is? Is it smaller um, or bigger than the Probably about that big or, or so. Mm. You could probably cut out a face. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll cut out a face and put it in the locket and put the locket. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you talking about pocket. cutting her face off? Hey, so you um, just take the, the boy's picture I mean, and toss to. it? Yeah, fucking whatever. All right. Yeah, you do that. that I happens. think we should take her to the Silent's fate. Oh, okay, sure. Let's do I that. Think we're, I really think we should leave her in a very public place. Why? We are Don't not serve serve no very monsters. Monsters. You mean like I'm, the beach? I'm a, literally a barbarian, so. <laughs> but it serves no purpose yeah, to help us further. There's already plenty of dead people around. There are mm. like. Twelve different bodies down here, Cedric. You can. You want to nail a bunch of people to the walls? Go right ahead. There's. Do you think I could? Um, do you think I could open up this bottle of ointment and maybe just kind of put it on her face a little? Like, oh, sorry, but sorry. Nifrim, <laughs> 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 you're always yucking my yums over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go loot the dead. Cedric, come with me. We'll oh, go loot the bodies. We'll go desecrate right. some corpses. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do, let's loot All the right. bodies, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking yeah. loot the dead because I give can't. me some. Uh, give me yeah, some. Yeah, I'll help you desecrate some of the corpses. Okay. What? Well, that's your perception, up. Steve. Uh, no, no uh, investigation. 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 That's a twenty-eight for me. This restorative ointment is great. Yeah, it's amazing. Fourteen. You're welcome. Um, twenty-eight. Okay. Okay. That's that's mine. Yoink. Going over, like, rolling the bodies, uh, let's see, who all was there? There was uh, the the warlock got away, um, the pack hunter got away, got away, and the hunter died. Um, so, I would say on the thief, uh, where did that go? Um, oh my god, there it is. Uh, on the thief, uh, let's see. Um, you find uh, a rope of climbing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit. That's a good one. Um, on the gladiator, I'd say you get. Um, a dagger of venom. Oh. Actually, that's from the archer. Uh, dagger of good. venom. Oh, um, that one. and then like one more thing you get. Uh, let's call it. Um, a bag of tricks. Ooh. Oh. Uh, a specifically a rust bag of tricks. Okay. Do we find any gold? Uh, you find about um among all the bodies, uh, you probably find hundred eighty gold. <laughs> Peasants. Everybody gets 45 gold. Um Actually, I'm sorry. What what was yours 28 investigation? Yes. Sorry. Let's call it 280. Still they're poor. Yeah. So that would be 70 to everyone. Can I have the bag of tricks, please? Not I would like yet. That. I would like that rope of climbing. What are you going to do? Can't you climb anyway? Nothing! Nothing! I just want fuzzy animals! Uh, yeah, I can super yeah, climb, but I ain't gonna use it for climbing. Okay. You want the rope of climbing? That'd be cool. I got this immovable rod plus rope of climbing shenanigans. Can I have the dagger of venom? What? 
I for, I didn't even hear that. I was all reading the rope of climbing. Damn it. Hold on. <laughs> you know what? We'll talk it's about this later. We'll talk rare. about this after class. Uh, Dagger of Venom. Yeah, we can talk about it later if you want to. Oh, God. Um, so what are you guys doing with these bodies? Uh, yeah. Leaving them. Um, maybe in a nice little pile on the docks. Yeah. All right. Or are we just like we should, could we put them out into like a picture of a smiley face? Mm. What'd you say, Marcus? Mm. Mm. I think we should at least report this to the proper authorities, no matter yeah, what we do probably. with them. Probably. Um, I don't mean. think they are gonna give a shit. I think the authorities are in on it. The yeah. authorities were told to. I will make tell you. Scarce, so. It was very weird. Like Gendry, when you guys first came out and realized there was literally no one around. There have, there's been a very heavy guard presence this whole time. You guys, they're gone. Um, the, you guys haven't seen any, like, piles of their bodies or anything? Well, yeah, but all it takes is one corrupt official to call off all those guards. It's not exactly, like, all of them. Or maybe something happened somewhere else in the city. We don't know, and they just took advantage of it. We should at least report it because maybe Talik, you know, could put something together. I don't know. We do have a boat to catch people. in the morning, and it's getting pretty late. Yeah, I'd it's say let's uh, let's tie them all by their ankles and let them dangle off the docks, and let's just go to sleep. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, all right. I w- I thought we should make a smiley face with them. <laughs> yeah, that was my idea. Don't steal that yeah. shit. <laughs> Okay, then, a frowny face. I am the horrible person she you. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are dangling them under the dock? I yeah, guess. Whatever. Yeah, I guess. All mm-hmm. right. As you guys finish, like, kind of tying up the last one, you hear behind you. And as you turn around, by the way, um, Herm is probably up at this point because Oscar's uh-huh. been... Bing bong. I've been checking nice. in on him throughout this whole process. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. Um, turn as you turn around, hand. Yeah. Uh, you see a tall man, mouth sewn shut, just slow clapping. Damn it! I thought you were gonna be the owl lady. Quite impressive. You really showed them. Good job, everyone. You sound sarcastic, but we really did. Walk you oh, walked through him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You walked through him? Yeah. I do kind of, I do like, too. I do dusts, too. Yeah. and then reco- <laughs> like, recorporealizes is probably a word. Sure. And then just go, ooh. Yeah. Kinky. <laughs> yep. I, 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 yeah. Me and, me and Cedric are, yep, no fucks given. <laughs> All right, He's, well then. You sound I mean, sarcastic. If you're gonna stand around but... complimenting us, you could do a little better. You're very observative, Nephrim. I am being sarcastic. Whatever. I mean, you Gods are. Gods can but make up words, Marcus. We are, we are, we actually <laughs> uh, did show them they're all dead. Well, not all of them. I mean, oh, some sure, some of them went got back away. To tell the tale. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. sure that'll go swimmingly. Who cares? Meh. Speaking of which, sounds like your plea to Talek didn't go so well, huh? Oh, we figured it might not. So tell me, how exactly do you plan on getting to Alfheim? Uh, I don't uh, know what you think we're up your to, business. but um, we gave up on all that. Yep, we're done now. We're Roll just going to go deception, about our lives. Uh, Marcus oh, and I'm, I'm not really deceiving. I'm being very You're sarcastic. being sarcastic? All right. Um, I was gonna say I'm not gonna deceive. I'm just gonna be like, you just uh, kind of that's frowns. literally none of your business, sir. And Aww. I would appreciate you to stay out of my business. Oh, what's wrong? Are you? Do you not know what to do? No, I just don't care to talk to you because you've not been helpful. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, really? I don't know. Not helpful. Uh, you're not Thor, and you're clearly never gonna be Thor, so... You are the most observant paladin I've ever met. Congratulations. He does all right. Um, he mm. he kind of dusts out like he did when you walked through him. 
and then reconfigures and standing before you is Thor. Uh, what? You don't like this? I can no. be anyone you want, darling. <laughs> what about your family? Uh... You walked away. You're not there. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. I'm. I'm just. I'm just it, out of character. Like, oh man. <laughs> I don't Is need you to be Captain anybody America? at all. Do you know? Now that it's just he. He turns back to um. Loki, the same way. And he says, You know, I was wondering, now that it's just the three of us, <laughs> what exactly do you know about your other friends? Eh. Enough. Really? <laughs> yes. Good answer. Good answer. Which, uh, which friend are you talking about? <laughs> and you surely trust them completely, right? <laughs> of course not. No. <laughs> then why are you with them? Because Man. I have massive biceps. Don't you two do better alone? Don't you think? No. Sometimes. I In have need of their now. skills. Really. Yes. <laughs> and your little uh plan revenge plan. Yeah. Do you exactly. think these fools can help you? <gasps> eh, or will we I, mean, I I am very good at revenge. You're gone! Cedric, <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh at the very least they could be bodies to get in the way and then let me get an opportunity. Nifrim turns to Marcus. <laughs> well, <laughs> looks That's like good to know. you all have a very good bond. I'm so glad you're together. This makes it so much easier. They have their charm. Oh, yeah, they obviously have their uses. <laughs> Cannon fodder. <laughs> I like your style. If necessary. Are you sure you don't want to become a paladin of me? No. <laughs> Shame. I like your shiny. My oath of vengeance takes precedence over them. And you think Thor is kind of a symbol of vengeance? He can I be. <laughs> I'm the real symbol of vengeance. <laughs> eh. Oh, <laughs> wait, you hear that? <sighs> as he dusts away as Oscar and Orvar come around the corner, like finishing cleaning up. And like walk up to you. All right, I think that's uh everything. You made him go away. Ah, oh, bad timing. M made who go? What? What? Gendry and Cedric? What? What did we do? Loki. Loki was here. Yes. They both kind of look around. What did he say? Nonsense. Uh, a lot of bullshit. But yeah, can't you smell it? <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> she says, don't get my head out the window. Okay, it smells like bullshit out here. <laughs> Go, <on. laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> no. Actually, so, though. Um... Nothing concerning? Or, sorry, that was Loki's voice. Nothing concerning? Uh, uh, many things concerning. Just not sure whether or not it is or is not true. Interesting. Hold on. Oh, that That's fine. Right. Um. All right. Well, um. Should it's getting pretty late, we should probably uh go to sleep. Um. Are you guys all right? No. You look a little rattled. Mm, little. Just full of holes and things. Well, yeah. Dicks. <laughs> All right, well, back to our rooms, Every I fucking suppose. time. <laughs> Actually, um... Yeah, Gendry. Yeah, so I... Obviously, they know exactly where we're staying, so Gendry might maybe not sleep there tonight, maybe. You know? You don't... I'll tell you, you don't know that they know where you're staying because they caught you coming out of the tavern. They oh, seemingly oh. knew you were at the tavern. The inn oh, cool. just happens okay. to be right next to it. Who knew who 
who knew we were at the tavern? <laughs> did who? Did who know? Cedric. Who knew? I am going to. Who, who knew? Go to the. So the place is right next to the tavern, correct? Yeah. I'm gonna go through the roof. I'm gonna go up the stairs, jump over, and then go into my place from there. Like, there's no entry other than the yeah. windows to <laughs> yeah. the rooms from the in roof. Unless you want to squeeze through the uh, chimney. Oh, man. So we're on the second floor, and there's a third floor, right? Yep. That's what you said last time? So are you yeah. going through someone else's room to get to yours? Are you <laughs> jumping over and, and, <laughs> and then scaling down to the second floor? And is your room even on this side of the fucking building? Who knows? We'll find out. I guess. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not worried about it. Fuck it. Fuck that shot. So do you want to go in through the window? Because you could totally do that. Yeah, I was, was right. going to do that. Uh, give me just a general athletics. Mm. And if you're trying to be sneaky about it, give me a stealth as well. Mm. 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 Well, 25 in athletics. Easy peasy. 19 in stealth. And kind of slap there on the 14. Didn't even roll. And relatively uh, quiet. You make it into your room. Mm. I'm flicking off Gendry as I go back in. <laughs> All right, so the rest of you head back to your rooms. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys just hitting the hay. Anything you want to do before? Oh, by the way, it's been night. Uh, anything you want to do uh, <laughs> before sleep or what? Um, no, I think I'm good. All right, I'm going to bathe, and also I'm going to. Pull something out of the bag of tricks to see what happens. No, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have given it to There's some big fucking things on there. There sure oh, are. <laughs> Oh, everyone's no. sleeping, I pull out a fucking bear. <laughs> <laughs> or a lion or a giant boar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> Giant All right. Goat. Nice. Uh, so, any watches or anything? You guys just snoozing? I'm snoozing. Oh, I'm going to sleep. All right. With that, let's go ahead and long rest. Yes. All right. All right. We're back. Sorry about that. Um, Gendry, as you lay down for sleep, roll me a wisdom save. I got a 16. 16. All right. Let me set something up here. Oh. <laughs> hey. It wasn't me, and then it was me. So, I don't know. <laughs> Gendry, as you slip unconscious, you wake the next morning, remembering once more a familiar nightmare you can never fully remember. Flashes here and there, coming and going, faces, half of them kind of blurry, don't recognize anything. One point you hear a woman's voice. Don't blame yourself. Couple more flashes. You hear Loki's voice. Are you sure? You're meddling with powers beyond your comprehension. Couple more flashes. Woman's same woman's voice. Where am I? Uh, who are you? Get away from me! More flashes. You hear Loki. I suppose there's only one course of action for you now, huh? And then it ends. The last thing you remember from the nightmare is the very familiar phrase. <sighs> what have you become? <sighs> Before you wake up. Cold sweat. Sweet. <laughs> Is there uh, like a water basin in the room? Yeah. 
and whatnot. Okay, so like basically every single morning, fucking psh, psh, <sighs> kind of shake it off. Shit. Yep. And um, with that, I prepare. I put on uh, my face, as it were. All right. Psh. Sorry about that. We're back again. Noisy neighbors are always fun. Anyway, um, Nifrim, as yes. you wake up, uh, you you wake up to a noise of and you kind of rub your eyes, look around and you look at the window and see a paper crane trying to get in. Oh, I thought it was her oh. falling apart. <laughs> cool. I'll open the window. And it lands in your hand. Ooh. Uh, what happens, what happens if it gets wet? It pays It's fine. It's freaking magic, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. If you'd like to read that. <laughs> Just oh, the boy. End Would you actually mind reading this one? My voice is... Oh, of course. I got you, girl. <laughs> We're all sick. Okay. <clears throat> of this bullshit. <laughs> Word. <laughs> it reads... <laughs> Dearest sister, your latest letter troubles me. I know not of what you speak regarding this mystery or danger, but it worries me that you can't trust me. If our family is in danger, I want to know. You're not alone in this as much as you'd like to be. Things around here have been quite hectic. Father spends almost all his time in his office now. Not even coming to dinners. I'm not even sure he sleeps anymore. Mother is so worried about him, but refuses to speak about it. Erling has been gone for weeks now. Anytime I ask Mother, Father, or Hertha about it, they say he's on assignment and quickly change the subject. All this worries me even more that you may be right. If our family is tangled in some sort of scheme, it seems to be taking its toll. The whole family seems on edge, but nobody will tell me why. I feel like you're the only one that trusts me with any information. And frankly, your last letter slashed those hopes. Please, let me into your world. Whatever you're dealing with, you're not alone. Colburns must stick together. If we don't, we will surely fall apart. Love, mm. P.S. I told you, I'm a raven, not a crow. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. And uh, before I leave, I write a hurried letter. <laughs> um, and I will post that in the Discord when this episode comes out. Join the Discord. Written. All yet. right. <laughs> Anyone else want to do anything for the morning? Are y'all putting your um, disguises on? Yes. Yeah. Dunch, yeah, dunch, sure. dunch, 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 dunch. All right. We already did checks for the disguises. They all passed pretty mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. you guys we kind of up. come out of the uh, your rooms, you're on the same floor. You pretty much take up the whole floor. Uh, with the rooms. Um, you're all kind of meeting out in the, the hallway uh, before going downstairs. Um, and you see Oscar and Orvar come out of their room clean shaven. <gasps> like, Orvar walks out. This whole disguise thing is pretty easy. I mean, we look like completely different people now. <laughs> they kind of do. Yeah, we all do. No. I know, I miss it already, and I can't wait to grow up back on the boat. You look naked. It's uncomfortable. You look a little less naked. Yes. It's looks, quite an impressive like mustache. It looks so very real. <laughs> I stole it from Sidoric's back hair. Sidoric, I don't think I've ever seen you wear a shirt. <laughs> Who's Sidoric? I'm Bendry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Bendry. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, well, um, 
Shall we, uh, I think, um, roll call is starting soon. Shall we go figure out where the fuck we're going? I think that's a yeah, great idea. Let's go. I mean, yes, let's go. <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, impression there. <laughs> Where's, uh, not what are you Gendry? About? I'm, I'm B. Yeah. <laughs> where where is Gendry? What does Gendry come out as? Uh, Gendry comes out, um, if I remember correctly, my description was bald. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Half oh, yeah, of yeah. his face, half of his face burned. Good old York. Oh my god. Oh, well, I I hope that's you, Gendry. Or, uh, sorry, York. Um, you all look pretty you good. You look like I put a burning cauldron on your face. That seems to be a theme, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> alright, well, <laughs> let's get going, shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> alright. Yeah, zero. <laughs> let's It'll go. take me a minute to get used to that, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to what? Guys. As, as guys, like Cedric he walks past, he like, uh, Orvar kind of grabs, like, kind of, hmm, like your your shirt and, like, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> hey, don't touch my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they both crack up laughing at that. <laughs> don't touch my shirt. Don't touch Gendry, my Gendry shirt. Gendry just looks at the whole thing. <laughs> That's, uh, very amusing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys head down, turn in your keys uh, to Erna, uh, the innkeeper, and head out into what seems like a completely different world from last night. Is uh, she at it all is perturbed by the fact that bustling. we're totally different people? Say again? Yeah. So is she at all perturbed by the fact that we look like totally different people? <laughs> She doesn't pay attention. Oh, okay. Um, I'd like to go right, casually well, look at the day, docks ma'am. to see if those bodies are still hanging there. <laughs> Give me perception. Yes, I'll um, I'll join. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'll join uh, Bendry over there. Natural Bendry. twenty. Oh Jesus. Um, twenty five. I got a four. You very subtly kind of check where you hung the bodies. They are gone. Mm. Oh man, we did. As all that you're work looking and though, because you know the the boats are Gee stationed, whiz. um, or docked, more whatever. I don't know words. Um, what am I a boatist? Anyway, oh my god. Um, as you're kind of looking, you glance up and uh, like the the long ships. First of all, glorious, but you notice that they are um decorated for intimidation mm-hmm. the like kind of heads of the uh the boat like on each end the parts that go up um are decorated heavily in um gore uh skulls decapitated heads uh marcus looking at them you actually uh recognize some of those elven prisoners that you took a look at yesterday. You recognize oh. a couple of their faces on your boat. That's unfortunate for them. Um, Gindry, mm-hmm. you recognize very easily the face of the sea warlock that got away last night. Ah, where, adorned, is, where is this? Adorned on the boat for intimidation. Oh, shit. Suck it, nerd. Okay. <laughs> the, uh... That other guy that got away? His head's up there, yeah, too. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, so he was killed f- because he sucks? Obviously. What? Now, why would they be... They failed, I guess, you know? Right? Hmm? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. You're unsure. All right. Um. So as you kind of, all right, kind of shake that off and look around. Um. You guys find where they like a line of um warriors essentially, basically waiting to go through security, uh, to board their boats. Uh, you guys jump in line. 
Yep. If we have to. Ugh. Yes, Ugh. I will. Um, I'll Fast just pass. behind my hands behind my back. Um, if I remember correctly, I still have like the long ass jacket. Yeah. And flares out at the at the ends, and there's like a I guess like a falchion at my hip. Fucking just yep. I'm fucking sea boy. Fucking sea boy, ready to go, dude. To Reno. Easy enough. All right. Sure. Um, as you guys get in line, you hear like all sorts of muttering, and they're like, "Yeah, we're going to go over there and fucking show them what's for and stuff like that." Uh, as you kind of, it takes about an hour, honestly, to get to the uh, front of the line, um, where a man. six flags <laughs> fast pass a um. Uh, uh, an elder rugged gnome has a clipboard and pen and is like taking names and stuff and he uh, as you approach him and you're next he looks up names Bjarni Bjarni alright you're going for this boat here yep. um, uh, this is my buddy Herm he uh, comes with me alright yep you're on that boat. All right, uh, you, um, bald man. I am Yorick. Yorick. Oh, okay. Yep, same boat. You can pass. And, uh, you, sir. Oh, well, I'm Alistair, so if you could let me on that boat, that'd be great. Alistair. Yep, same boat. Thanks, Proceed. Chief. You have a good day. Sure, whatever. And <laughs> you. Um, yes, I'm Bendry. Bendry. <laughs> <laughs> Got you here. All right, same boat. You're all in the same. And you too. And uh, Oscar and Orvar. Um, yeah, uh, Borvar. <laughs> Borvar. Yep, got you here. And you. Busker. <laughs> Busker. We're all on the same boat. The gods watch over What a coincidence. Thank you. <laughs> so, um... Borvar and Busker. <laughs> hey, if he's going to be Bendry, they Bendry. thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you guys, um... Kind of blend in and fall in line. Give everyone, give me just a general stealth. This is going to be kind of a group stealth to blend in. As you like, help them load the boats, Mm. prepare to sail. I'm an expert at stealth. I am not an expert at stealth. (laughs) All right, Gendry. It is a twenty-five. All right. Uh, Suck Nif- it, Cedric. 29. Suck Marcus? it, Gendry. <laughs> 20. <laughs> and Cedric. Um, I get a 9. Oh, that's not the not, not <laughs> right. Bendry. Suck it, Gendry. <laughs> oh, uh, Herm as well. <laughs> oh, Herm. Eric hates this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Uh, Eric good. wants to just drive over to Josh's house and hurt him. <laughs> it's going to be 12. He <laughs> disappears 12? from the screen and All suddenly right. it's just like... Boosh. So that gives you five successes, three failures. I did the 29 as two successes since it's almost godlike. Um, so, all good. You guys managed to blend into uh, all the warriors and troops loading up. Uh, you got a couple people kind of directing and then... The time comes where you hear like kind of a whistle and people start actually boarding and taking their seats. Uh, you guys are grouped in the back of one of the boats um, uh, all together. It seems the uh, Moon of the Air uh, or Moon of the Air. Moon of the the uh, Silence, Silence Fate, Fate uh, really did a good job hooking you up. Sorry about that, all sorts of fun issues uh, this episode, but so you guys hear like a whistle and uh, they start kind of lining up and loading on the boat. Uh, you guys, the Silver Sphate uh, really hooked you up because not only are you on the same boat, you're grouped together on the boat. You're all kind of assigned toward the back, uh, away from most ears, which helps. 
Uh, you know, you just got the people right in front of you. Um, by the time the boats are done loading, uh, there are three of them, and they are full to the brim. Uh, about 30, 29, 30 or so people uh, per boat. Yes, Marcus. Are we going to have to, like, row and stuff? Or... Yep. All right. Check. Sweet. Let's I'm do above this. this. Um, I am going to row so hard. I'm going to fucking throw the whole thing off. Down. Real life me would not like this at all, but fake me. Let's go. Let's do it. I don't do this kind of rowing. Um, Quiet, hey, Bendry. This is going to be a whole fucking thing. Stay, stay consistent, Bendry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Never change. Uh, so as the boats kind of top off essentially and they start kind of getting ready they start readying the sails um, other boating stuff that I as a DM don't really know that you do when preparing to sail that happens uh, just use your imagination it looks really cool I'm sure um, and There's a lot of yeah. old man grunting barrels being carried yeah. everywhere yeah. Oh oh let's God. sing some sea shanties yay I don't know if the vikings did any of that shit but, yeah. <laughs> um, good god I mean at least singing probably as everyone uh, prepares uh, to ship off as it were um you hear a uh, large bell ringing, ding, 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 and everyone looks. It's Is from it the uh, time already. <laughs> it's from the, de- <laughs> the docks, <laughs> and you see, uh, you hear kind of a burn, 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 from uh, you know horn horns, um, as a you see coming through the uh, like outer wall that's just um, you know inland from the docks. Uh, coming through a large assortment of Gatir guards, and they are escorting Talik, King Talik, as well as his advisors, including mm. the Owlin. Mm. They kind of walk up to the docks. They're probably, I mean, they're still probably like 60, 80 feet away from you. But um, as like everyone kind of calms down, you can see Talik kind of adjust and get ready. Um, the Alan kind of uh, taps his neck and he nods. And then he speaks with booming. You figure it's probably thaumaturgy or something, giving him a loud booming to his voice uh, so he can talk, be heard like a long ways. So he says... The rain gear of Muspelheim, hear me! And at this point, it is everyone is silent and paying attention. By the way, Drangir, um, uh, Dranger is Old Norse for essentially a really fucking cool dude. Like, excellent warrior, um, honorable, valiant, like, upholds oaths. Um, it's like the highest compliment of Old Norse. He says, He's kissing our ass. <laughs> you stand before the vast Jormungandr, ready to embark on a perilous journey to Alfheim. The winds of fate have brought us here to seek revenge for the destruction of our great city and to show the world the ferocity of the Viking spirits. And there's kind of a. Ah! Mm. As it calms down. Yay. As you set sail, your ships will slice through the waves like great serpents, their fierce and hungry eyes fixed upon our enemies. Your oars will beat like the drums of war. Your sails will billow like the mighty wings of eagles carrying you ever closer to victory. Ah! A little long-winded at this point, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you arrive, you will strike like thunderbolts, your swords and axes raining down upon our foes like the mighty Mjolnir. You'll be like Fenrir, fierce and unstoppable, tearing apart our enemies with a ferocity unmatched by any other. Uh, once again, applause break. 
Um, <laughs> remember, my fellow warriors, that you are the sons and daughters of the great Viking warriors who have come before us. Your blood runs hot with the same fiery spirit that fueled their conquest and drove them to greatness. You are the inheritors of their legacy and you will carry their honor and their valor into battle with you. Let these raids be a mini to them and the fallen. Applause break. So raise your swords up high and let your battle cries echo across the mighty Serpent Sea so those trolls can hear you from here. Let our enemies tremble at the sight of our ships and let them feel the fury of the Viking spirits. Ah! Mm. And while the applause break is still happening, he just screams, For Jotunvotar! For our honor! And for our ancestors! And just uproar as you hear horns blow. Whoa! And then you hear... Doom, 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 doom. As the drummer at the front of the boat starts beating the rhythm drum, signaling it's time to start rowing. I feel like the drummer job would have been better for me, but uh, <laughs> let me get to my rows. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <your> <laughs> That's amazing. Yay. I think Sam made a sail. Is there a sail? So you guys start rowing too, um, as everyone in unison to the drum beat starts sailing off, and um, yeah, out into the mighty Jormungandr. Is this uh, like is this uh, how many ships are, are in this? Three in fleet? this fleet. Three in this wave, all headed to Vither Moomer, as far as you know, a single raid. Hmm. Okay. My arms are already tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Cool. <laughs> now, before we go on, I am going to first of all let's see your uh, your mighty um. Uh, ships. Oh dear. Ooh. 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 Um. Ah. As we. This is a bad time to point out that I'm afraid of drowning. <laughs> That's why you wear the heaviest armor in every game we play. No worries. <laughs> um, so you have your three ships. Now, before we move on, I'm going to explain some things mechanically. Um, this is in uh, planned to be an eight-day journey to Alfheim and Vithermunar where upon arriving you will participate in a raid um how much you participate uh, that's going to be ro roaming initiative like we did during ragnarok um mm -hmm. so how you how much you participate or whatever that depends on you uh but your play it's intended to be eight days travel you'll do daily travel rolls just like we did crossing land for battles so each of these boats, well, at your boat specifically, actually, is broken down into four groups uh, beside yourselves. You have fighters. Whoa. Fighters, uh, there are 13 on your boat. Fighters will be... Um, during any attacks, we're, we're going to use kind of mob rules and group them all together uh, for single roll for all of their attacks. Josh, you will be in charge of rolling for the fighters. Okay. Uh, there are on your boat six archers. Eric, you will be in charge of the archers. And again, one roll for all their attacks. Um, I'm also going to be using average damage so that I don't have to roll like 50 die or 50 dice. Um, each boat, including yours, has one caster. Um, Emmy, you are in charge of the bard. 
which I will send you the um, the stat block for. The cool, others cool, are cool. just going to be like attacks, like you roll to attack and it does damage. The bard, since it's a caster, you, you'll you actually have control of them and uh, be able to choose which spells. Do I have to come up with songs? Because Oh, yeah. Maybe. I could do um, that. <laughs> so, Emmy, you'll control the bard as the caster. Yes. And then there is one flyer. And just like the bard, since there's only one, Sam is going to be in charge of the flyer, which in this case is an Eric Okarin. Uh I, I will send you the stat block for him. So again, mob rules, which means that um, the fighters and archers, at least, are going to each have one HP. Uh, and I'm going to use one damage. So if they get hit, w- one of them dies. Like the caster and flyer will be have their own health, and I'll give you a stat block for that. The other boats, uh, those will be single roll versus roll, roll off, rollies essentially. Whoever, whichever side wins, good guys or bad guys, will lose a man or something. Okay. Or take damage or whatever. Just to avoid long and arduous rolls. Sure. And then the last important thing is you guys are headed for a raid in all time. The amount of troops that survive the journey will dictate the difficulty of the raid. More survive oh, means... Shit. It'll be easier. You'll have lower challenge and fewer people to fight. It's still going to be random who you fight um, based off top of the round rolls, just like during Ragnarok in the Roaming Initiative. However, the fewer people you have on your side, I'm going to use higher and higher stat blocks and more and more of them. Super. It will adjust the table. So everyone surviving is of your like interest. Sure. Does that make sure. sense? Any questions? No. All right. So, who's going to roll the first day of travel? Emmy raised her hand first. Oh my god, it went from a natural one to a 19. Woo! So as you guys start making your 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 path out doing rowing um everyone give me actually no because once you guys kind of get away from the docks and by the way there is a crowd like cinch sending you off and they're cheering uh you see several people praying um as you guys get to a certain distance you see a couple of the fighters kind of pulling some rigging and stuff again i don't fucking know boats but they do some stuff and <laughs> as the sails unfurl <laughs> and you take off and it is a strong wind that is in your favor. So as you guys head out into the mighty Jormungandr, your first day of travel, uneventful and you make good time. Uh, I'm gonna bring nice. something up here. I mean, yay! <laughs> um, as the day goes on, uh, and you guys, you're not. It's nice because you don't have to ro- row the whole fucking time. That's what the sails are for. The you get to kind of converse a little with uh, a little bit as much as you want I guess with uh, the other people on there and Oscar you see uh, Oscar like seems really nervous he's like I've never really been sailing before I don't really like water this sort of sucks I uh I don't know what I'm doing you all seem to be taking this well um, is, 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 is the motion normal? All, all this motion, is that normal, anyone? 
Uh, yes, yeah. yes, it is normal. You'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, this it's is fine. just that this boat, the boat rolls a lot. Um, by the way, uh, Oscar says, or Orvar says, by the way, you guys don't have to keep up your roses. I mean, thank God. It was mostly for yeah, Talek. That's why his... I was doing it. But yeah, Nephrom, you can. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna notice <sighs> if you. Uh, you know. Josh, you're... Yes, I'm on mute. Uh, I actually uh, like this disguise, so I think I'm going to keep it. Oh, and I think I'm going to hate oh, it. Okay, you do that. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to take Cedric's of back do. hair off of my <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say Gentry has, back. like, no fans. No one's like, yeah, he's my fave! <laughs> and it's probably because of what Josh is displaying today. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey. I'm not Gendry, I'm Bendry. Get it right. Yeah, I don't know yeah, who this Bendry exactly. is. No, um, Bendry. Bendry. Any role Go playing you guys want to do before evening or anything? Yes, I would love to role play before the evening. Uh, Again, really you don't to have to talk like that. Tricks. Mm, I don't not have to. Not a boat, you idiot. <laughs> I get to. <laughs> Are you going to use your bag of tricks? I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Please don't. Please don't. But no, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until the eight days are over. That's probably <laughs> a good idea. I've seen mm. one of those before. Um, you don't know what you're going to pull out. They're just little fuzzy balls, and you don't know what it's going to be when you throw it. But so. They, but, but, but they like me, right? They're friends with Yes, me. they like you, but also some of them are bears. <laughs> and I once saw, like... Weird. This huge animal come out of there, a tiger. I once saw a tiger come out of one of those. Have you ever seen anyone ride them? So what you're saying is, uh, we have uh, access to meat, sources of meat for uh, the long no, journey. No, you're not touching my oh. bag for meat. I don't think we that's have how that plenty works. of meat it's... bag. It's a fuzzy animal bag. I don't think Turn that's how that like works. Donald Trump right now. I'm gonna... No, yeah. stop it. <laughs> I can't. Dial it back. I can't sustain it. <laughs> Bit abandoned. Um, all right. Any any other role playing or anything you guys want to do? Nope. No, man. I think I'm legitly just chilling. Mm. <clears throat> no, I'm good. <clears throat> there he oh, is. Oh, good. You're back. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank the gods. That was really... You're great. You're great. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow smoke up his ass. Ooh, please do. That's Eight pretty days. fucking You're disgusting. <laughs> he already has a bottle for that. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, I don't have my bottle. Oh, that's true. I have it. <laughs> you go and check and you notice you are missing your bottle. Hmm, Gendry? Mm -hmm. I don't know who you're referring to. My name is Yorick. Hey, I'm sorry, uh, Yorick. Give me my, give me my bottle back. Give, give it back. I've, I've never met you before today. I'm bigger than you. I will throw you off the boat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me, I'm sorry. It's in my bag of folding. Let me get it for you. I take my hand in my bag of folding, and as I take it out, I try to slap him across the face. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks um, me out. <laughs> Roll for the rest of the trip. <laughs> so, um, uh, kind of halfway through the the day, um, Orvar uh, kind of turns to you, Sidric. So, hmm. um, what did you think of the uh, the the runes that I used during that battle back there? That that was very cool. I, I yeah. can't wait to be able to learn how to do that. I can teach you. It's really all the power is in the runes. And he kind of pulls out his axe and shows you. And he's like, see this one, uh, this one, it's protection. This one Ooh. sort of sees the fates. The possibilities Ooh. are endless. Do you want me to show you? Yes. All right. Well, the first thing we need to do, and he kind of uh, puts his axe away. You see, I didn't. Um, first thing we need to do is add the runes to your weapon. 
Okay. And, um, honestly, might as well, there's no one better to do it than he who added my runes. My brother here. I can add oh. those runes to your sword, not a problem. Um, may I? I'm sorry, who's the rune knight? Is that Bosker or Borvar? <laughs> I almost corrected you. Um, Bosker, <laughs> or sorry, Borvar. Or, okay, Orvar is a rune knight. <laughs> the GM had confused itself. The fighter Orvar is a rune knight. However, ah, okay. his runes were carved by his brother Tinker, Bosker. Okay. If you let me, uh, yeah. I have a tool that's, if you let me see your sword, it will take a while. Uh, yes, sure. It will take a few days, but also, um, they, the they won't activate until we do a ritual, which we will have to wait until we get to Alfheim. That there are ingredients and a, fi- a bonfire, a certain ritual Ooh. that needs to Ooh. be performed. We can... Cool. It's and up. act after the raid. He kind of looks around. All right, uh, let me see this. And he pulls out like his his, uh, his data pad, and he kind of does a couple things, and it kind of pops like out the this bad tool. Kids at the bed of a back of a school bus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of pops out a tool that he takes out of there and puts the data pad away, and it's like this long. It almost looks like a screwdriver or a chisel. But he kind of clicks it and just and like the the tip of the chisel just starts moving incredibly fast, like you've never seen anything like this. And he kind of leans over and it's like you're tattooing my sword. You guys probably won't want to look directly at this; it'll sort of hurt your eyes. As he pulls down goggles, oh. I wouldn't advise it. Just look away; you'll be fine. He touches it and sparks start shooting out. I look around like, oh shit. And everyone's like, whoa, what the fuck? And he's like, oh, it's, Orvar's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's, we're safe, it's fine. He says, you just see a shower of sparks start going out. <laughs> and Oscar, and it's loud too. And Oscar is just like, almost getting past the barrier. Uh, this, this won't be too much longer for the, I, I promise it's, everything's fine. <laughs> I kind of wipe sweat and it is like deafeningly loud, super bright, sparks just shooting here, sizzling as it they land in the water and people are just kind of backing up, getting like putting distance between you and them, starting to crowd towards the front of the boat. Who's going to row back here? Come on, guys. <laughs> you don't need to row. You're currently sailing. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't row until you're closer to land, or you can't use your sails. Yeah, if you can't use your sails, closer to land through a river, because that's the beauty mm. of a longboat. It can go in shallow water. Anyway, that's right. Um. So yeah, he spends the next several hours, uh, which after a while the sparks do die down and just starts being a as he's just etching these runes into the blade of Hofen. Um, I'm doing a pretty good job. Sounds like a uh, blasphemy. Nice. Um, what? Because <laughs> because it's uh, Hofen. Yeah, that's a mm. godly weapon. I, I, I was considering but he's putting that holy too. runes on it. it. You're you're defacing it. You're yeah, otherwise I think, changing I think, it. I think Heimdall will approve. You feel well, it's good. It's good. It's good. You think that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you should have consulted with him first. <laughs> nah. He'll you think it. he doesn't know? Yeah, he'll dig it. <laughs> yeah, and then he, Dude, he has a plan for me, up. and I'm doing this, so obviously this is the plan for me, so. <laughs> also, this was kind of the god's idea, so. He's probably gonna approve. Get it? No? Okay. So after a while, <laughs> Hothering does cross over as uh, nighttime, and it is fucking dark out here. Um, there are lanterns hanging off of the kind of no, like the, the heads of the boats that light a bit. Uh, but there is, um, uh, a, a dense fog starts coming in and people start kind of settling where they can and taking shifts 
of um, keeping watch slash running the boat and um, ship and um, sleeping. So, did you guys want to do anything for bed or are we good? Long rest. Yeah, I'm good. I think I'm good. What's to eat on this boat? Uh, you have your own rations, which from Each your other. the donations <laughs> at in Escaholt, you have plenty of rations and food uh, oh, okay. from the um, you know when you're at your mom's house. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, can I um, before yeah. we go to bed? Can I go ahead and level up? No. Yeah, that'd be cool. If I, I one, nope. I, I I'm gonna order one of those. Damn well. it! I thought I had nope. him. Sorry, some bitch. And don't worry, Sidric can't either, so, you know. No, like it's I not said, gonna happen gonna until be... after the raid, guys. Yeah. Dungeon Master said. <laughs> I guess, we'll see. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Guys, let's not be hasty. <laughs> also, let's don't know see what, what comes is. out of that bag of tricks so we can eat a bear. Yes! And I... No! no! <laughs> <laughs> I can barely contain myself. <laughs> Anything else before bed? You guys good? I'm good. All right. Luckily, the night does go uh, very calmly until the next day. Um. All right. Who's rolling? Uh, are we going through the line? Might as well. Sure. Whatever. All right. Uh, so that would be Marcus. Got a 14. All right, let's check the table. Fourteen. Please don't say Kraken. Why not? Mm. Sidert can throw a bear at it. Mm. <laughs> throw a bear oh, at it. <laughs> Krakens have an absurd amount of health. <laughs> How many times can you use that bag per day, or can you just like sh just, just shake bears out of it for hours? Three times a day, <laughs> and it's a 1d8, and depending on what I roll, a different animal comes out, and then the animals stay until their hit points are zero or until the next dawn. I you control them, or do they like, are they I, independent? Uh, They're independent, but are friendly. To uh, me and my party. Yep. So everyone else in the party would be fucked, them, but we'd be but... okay. Actually, no. If I'm controlling the fighters, that's all our party. The boat's fine. They're just chill with us. It'd be cool. So anyway, let me cue up the battle music after that roll. No, I'm kidding. Um, it kind of sounds like battle music kind of, right now. But yeah. not really. <laughs> um, Would they remain friendly while we try to slit their throat? So they only have one health point. It's okay. As, Murder them all. as morning comes, you guys wake up, um, taking a moment to remember you're in the middle of the fucking ocean, um, and no land in sight. Very weird uh, first time for a couple of you. Meh. There is a dense fog uh, as morning comes. And... As the day goes on, the fog starts clearing up. And um, everyone give me perception. All right. Bakes. Ish. Mm. It's always perception. Natural uh, one. Nice. Gendry, what'd you get? I got an 11. And Marcus? You got a 6. And I'm sorry, Cedric, what'd you get? Only a 10. Whoa. Oh, wow. 11 guys. was the yeah. highest. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> uh, so, Impressive. sure. You're kind of sailing along, uh, you know, just whatever. Uh, Oscar song. is uh, continuing his work on the etching of Hofid, uh, making decent progress. You hear one of the other uh, warriors on your uh, ship um, kind of yell out, Movement Cyborg! And uh, everyone kind of perks up, and uh, you they they start looking to the right. Pretty sure Starboard's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone starts looking to the right, and as you guys look out, you just see more ocean. But Gindry, you do start noticing kind of a little bit of like extra wave movement. Uh, Dolphins. Like fairly distant, but. 
kind of uh, getting closer. Dinner. Okay, so then for the rest of the group, I go, there. <laughs> then you see another couple people kind of point. Oh, I see it! It's like, what is oh, that? Oh, yeah, me too. It's right. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you hear, like, uh, the Eric Hokerin, uh call out, Brace yourselves, I'll, I'll scout. And he's going to fly up. Um, oh, Marcus, go ahead go. and give me a uh, a d20 roll, and I'll add the uh, perception, since I haven't said this to you yet. 15, so that's going to be a 21 perception. Um, you yeah, see yeah. him kind yeah. of fly a bit, do a like couple pattern and circles, um, and then he, uh, after a bit, he comes back and lands. He's like, uh, it's some uh, dolphins or whales or something, but um, well, we should be fine. Everyone can stand down. And everyone's can like, okay, one? okay. And then after a while, you're, you're watching and they do come closer and there is like, just was it a, a pod, a pack of dolphins? Pod. Pod. Yeah, um, pod. yeah, sure. Um, okay. Pod of whales. I don't know. Kind of following you. Uh, All like porpoises. Doing jumps. Swimming pods. Uh, uh, Gendry gives the motion to ready arrows. <laughs> <laughs> to be I clear, Gendry is stuff. not like uh, commanding the archers. Eric is. I know. <laughs> I am just being <laughs> a the archers ready their arrows. Mr. Poopy no. <laughs> hey, all your archers are like that one old man from sure. Lord of the Rings. Sort of like. <laughs> Sweet fire. He was a valiant warrior. Okay, Josh, don't disparage him. <laughs> okay, Josh. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, more different. Uh, <laughs> so as as you guys are staying along, they they kind of go along with you for a while, um, and uh, like a couple people even kind of throw them a little bit of food or like. Salted cod or something, and they all... at them. <laughs> Dude, this is your time. This is you open up the bag and just to have it go into the ocean. Can I do this? <laughs> you can if you want. Yes. Can, is, is one of the things so what you do is potentially it's a balls that you throw. No. None of them are water animals. Oh, oh shit. God, Dude. Well, then don't do this. You're condemning it to death. I know. I can feel bad. I catch animals. one of the dolphins to eat. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a net? We have food! Yeah. Dolphins a keep spear? getting caught in nets, yeah, haven't you heard, dude? Don't do that. Dolphins it. taste great. <laughs> uh, Orvar's like, leave them alone. Oh, they're they're fine. Fine. So they're Come on, we've got plenty of food. Legal to eat dolphins. What's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> leave them alone. They'll, we've got plenty of food. That's... Oh my god. <laughs> if we start running out, maybe, but... Mm. Oh, the DM's telling you to knock it off. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> um, so, Josh, are you tossing a fuzzy ball into the ocean? No! Don't no. do it, Josh. I can't. Chuck it in I'm the an boat. animal Chuck it in person. The boat. Don't, don't, like, give in to peer pressure, bro. If give in to peer pressure, bro. Wolf, I'll keep it as a friend. Until the dawn, yeah. I mean, what, you just chuck it, chuck it up into the air as hard as you can, and what happens happens. <laughs> just a bear just lands down. on the a bear lands on the mast <laughs> and it breaks. <laughs> he told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've never even seen this man before. Mm. <laughs> so as they're mm. kind of going along or whatever, uh, they kind of go off to the side, and then suddenly you just hear someone go, "Oh shit!" as a large creature just woo, comes out of the ocean. That did not come from my bag of tricks. And, he, and just swallows whole three of them. It's just suck it. Okay, now throw the bear in the ocean. Now throw the bear in the ocean. I'd like to shoot it in the eye. <laughs> everyone gets ready. The archers like get ready and everything and everyone just kind of still. It got its food. Mm. Is it? Is it gone? There are Cochran's. I'll go check. And flies. Um, give me another uh, perception. Well, roll a d20. All of us? Uh, that's a 14. Marcus. I mean, the rest of you can too, but... Um, 14. Oh, 23. 24. Nice. 8. Yeah, I got uh, 13. All right. 
Uh, Nephrim, you don't see any more movement out on the waves. After doing several patterns and going all around the ship formation, checking in with the other ships, he comes back and says, Whatever that was, I think it's gone. That was, um, pretty fucking metal. <laughs> Holy shit, we need to keep an eye out for that thing. Oh. <laughs> what was it? I don't know, I've never seen that. Does anyone cool. here know what that is? Would, would would I have seen one of these things on my previous trips? Um, roll a history. I was a soldier for a while. You, Maybe you can roll one it. too if you want. Um, that'll be a 16. Marcus? Uh, I rolled a 15 plus what check was it? Uh, history. History, uh, 16. 16, so 16 for both of you. Uh-huh. Um, you've heard of all sorts of monsters and creatures that infest Jormungandr all around Thorin. Um, you've never really seen any of them? None of the big monsters like that size? Um, neither of you have ever seen anything like that. It looks like a, just a gargantuan fish with, like, almost... Like, very shiny scales. And, um... Basically think... Like... 50 foot long... Uh... Bass fish. Oh. Or catfish. Actually, catfish. That's the uh. fish I was thinking of when I said bass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got the whiskers. Disgusting. Oh. Yeah, no Lucky one, dudes. no one's seen that or knows what it is or anything like that. Just uh, big and ugly. Guys. Yep. And as after a while, everyone's keeping a lookout. All three boats. And after a while of no activity, one figures it got what it wanted and it went away back to its depths. And you sail on, on your second day, sailing the Jormungandr, on your way to Alfheim for a raid. Raid that you may or may not participate in. But that's a story for next time. Dang. That was Dang. A quick one today. <laughs> yeah. You guys made it to the ocean. We're your sailors. We don't do this, guys. Now I gotta like find out sailing things and terms and be e. smart about sailing. I gotta nautical. Yeah, that shit. Um, yeah. We're on the stern. I'm not sure. I'm always I'm on the stern. No, I'm, I'm gonna give a you a stern it's face. Out. Uh, because Guys. you got the bow and then the stern. Yeah, bow no, no and stern. Our, it's also aft, right? Like no aft matter is what back. Our, uh, I think so. Yeah. What our motivations are, dude? We're all in the same boat. Okay. Oh my god. Ah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Man, oh, Emmy quit the it. campaign. <laughs> Don't hate By me. the way, that um. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> Just to uh to you know. Before anyone thinks I'm actually talented or a good writer or anything, uh, Tullock speech, mm. for the most part, AI. Ksh. Ksh. I told it to give me a Viking, uh, 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 an inspiring speech with a lot of literary terms uh, for a Viking king setting ships off. And mm. I mean, like, I changed it considerably, but it gave me all the, um, the bones. similes and stuff. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Should've just, you should have just done the dick. Lord of the Rings charge speech. Yeah, see, now, charge that would be right? copyrighted. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you all for joining. We love you very much. Exciting times are ahead. Our, the Jotun Slayers hit the sea. So, uh, be sure to tune in next time, and until next time, may your longship be swift and your raid successful! Yeah, sailing stuff. Woo. Yay.